Hi, and welcome to today's statistics lesson. Today I want to look at the binomial probability formula and how to read a problem and decide which, vari which numbers go with which variables in the formula. In a binomial probability, the basic idea is that something either happens or it doesn't. So you have a probability of success, and 1 minus that is your probability of failure. And, and that's kind of defined up here, as you see. Um, it's Sorry, this isn't working. Oh, there it goes. So up here, you have all these things you have to find. Now, this N with an exclamation point might be a little scary, but let me explain what that means mathematically. If I put 4 with an exclamation point, that means 4 factorial. It's called a factorial. And what it means is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You would multiply all those together you get 24. If I have 8 factorial, that means it's 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, obviously, if you leave off the 1, it doesn't make a difference, but the idea is that the factorial means you take the number in front and multiply by each integer below it until you get to 1. So that's called a factorial, and where you have like the n minus x factorial in the bottom, let's say n was 12 and x was 3, you would do the 12 minus 3 first, because it's in parentheses, and that would give you 9 factorial, which would be 9 times 8 times 7, dot, 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 all the way to 1. The interesting thing about 9 factorial is it's the same as saying 9 times 8 factorial. And if you get into a higher level math class, you'll use that a lot in reducing these. But for now, I just wanted to explain what that exclamation point is. And then the other thing we see in the formula here is we have a p to the x. That's the probability of success to the number of successes and q to the n minus x. So this is the probability of failure, n minus x in this formula is the number of failures or the number that didn't meet the criteria you wanted or the number of losses, that kind of thing. So uh, let me explain. I'm just going to explain where to get the letters from. I'm not going to do these problems out in this video. I will do that at a later time. And no, I do not want to erase everything. I just want to erase my writing, which seems to go pretty well here. All right. Sorry, I don't want to leave scribbles. All right, I'll write in a different color, too, to help that. Okay, so... I'm going to read problem 21 right here. It's a little small, but you can see it. If eight adult smartphone users, so the idea in, exercise, in this exercise is when adults with smartphones are randomly selected, 54% use them in meetings or classes based on somebody's smartphone survey. LG is a smartphone manufacturer. So let's say 54% do use. So that's 0 0.54 is what we will use. And then that means the rest don't use. So this is a binomial. There's either you do or you don't. There's not three choices. So don't use would be 1 minus 0 0.54 or 46%, 0 0.46. We, we use decimals for percentages here. So we have 0 0.54, do use, 0.46, don't use. So I can split it that way. And then if I look at the problem 21, if eight adult smartphone users are randomly selected, find the probability that exactly six of them do use their smartphones. Okay, so that number six goes with use their smartphones. So I have six people going with the probability of, that they do use. Let's look at these definitions. Okay, so N is the number of trials. What does it mean? It's how many people he asked. This here, N. So in this case, N equals eight. And then X is the number of successes. In this case, the success is they do use their smartphone. X is 6. P is the probability of success. I get that from reading up here. P is 0 0.54. And therefore, Q, once I know P, I know Q is 1 minus it, is 0 0.46. So now I have everything I need to plug into my formula. So I would do this, I would do n factorial is 8 factorial over, so this is the probability that 6 people use that, exactly 6 people, and then this becomes an 8 
minus 6. x is the number of people, and that's a factorial. And this is a 6 factorial again. So I'm replacing the n's with 8's, but I wrote them down first. I identified them first. This can be very important for you to do when you do these problems, is to write these things down before you start the problem. And then, I, so I have all this part filled in. P was the probability of them having a smartphone. And that gets raised to how many people had the smartphone, which was six of them. And the probability of not having the smartphone. Well, eight were asked, six had them, so only two did not. So these two numbers should always add up to the total number of trials when you're done. And you would do this in your calculator. And there is a function in your calculator. If you go to math, and then you go over to the PRB on the right. And then you look. Number four is this symbol. So you can do math PRB4. You can do eight and then do math PRB4, and it'll give you eight factorial. There's also a way to calculate these using built-in functions in the calculator that there are videos posted for, and I will give you more information about. But for now, what I'm really after is can you identify these things you need to use this formula? Because even in the calculator, you need to identify these first. And that tends to be the hardest thing. One of the clues is to be careful. As if, if I had said six of them do not use their smartphones, six wouldn't have been X. Two would have been X. Six do use their smartphones. Um, so... So 6 is x. It goes with the probability of success. Make sure that this number goes with the probability that you, if you say it's x, that means that that was it measured as a success. If this said 6 did not use their smartphones, that number would have not been x. That would have been how many don't. So you would have to figure out how many do, which would be 8 minus 6. Okay, so what you want for x in this case is the number of people that do use their smartphones. And if it tells you the number that don't and how many you asked, you know how to figure that out too. All right, I hope that helps you set these problems up, and we will have more videos on that, and there's, out, there's definitely more posted already online that I didn't do that you would find very helpful.